Hey, welcome to the second lesson of the course. In this lesson, we're going to create the cloners. So it's going to be very easy. We're just going to create some radial cloners with uh, plenty of cubes right here. So let's begin. Let's first create a cube. You know that you can create it either by going through here to this button or going to create object and selecting cube. Now with the cube selected, let's change on the attributes panel let's change the size it, right now it's 200 each side let's change this to 25 25 25 and now the y axis let's just crank it up a little Could be around 250. All right. So we have kind of like a stick. Now let's create a cloner by going through MoGraph and selecting cloner. Now, just as I told you on the first lesson, just drop your cube on the cloner until you see the red, the black arrow going down. And that means that the cube is now a child. So grab your cloner. And as you can see on the attributes, we have a lot of things. Right now it's on, on linear. Let's change this to radial. It's going to look a little weird right now. Just change the radius. Right now it's, it's on 50. Let's turn it up a little could be 350 and now let's change the camera by pressing 3 and rotating our camera a bit so that we are looking at the front of the cloner alright like this now let's change the count let's add some more of this could be 25 count and now we have 25 of these little sticks now I think these sticks are too long so let's go back to our cube object and change the y-axis size to maybe like this yeah, I think this is probably better. All right, now let's copy this cloner. Let's duplicate it by going to Control C and Control B, or you can go the long way and going to Edit, Copy, and Edit, Paste. Now we have two of these cloners. Now let's first do something very practical which is creating a camera we will later remove this camera probably but let's create it for now let's click on the camera icon and now you can see that we have a little square which means that the camera is right on our view so if we hit this icon right here you can see that it's turned on which means that the camera is turned on so if we turn it, this off, we can move to anywhere we want. And if we hit again here, we go back to our view. So this is much better way of working because we're going to be needing to go to this part and to this part. So it's nice that we don't lose this view all right turn this off and now let's set the view to the side and now take your duplicate cloner you can call this cloner 2 and let's take it to the back now let's change our view to the camera and you can see we have now two cloners so this should this one should be a smaller 
So with the cloner to select it, click or press your T button and it, this will bring this guy right here which is the scale tool. Now with the scale tool grab anywhere and make this one a little smaller. You can see that it's not entirely on the center. Just fix this right here. All right. Could be maybe a little bigger. And now let's hit the R key or this one rotate tool and let's rotate it on the blue handle until it's looking exactly like this. Now you can see that we have two intertwined cloners so this looks really nice so we're all set with the cloners just two cloners these are more than enough now we're going to create a text a MoGraph text you can create text by going to the spline and select text or which is more easier you can go to MoGraph and select Mo text and this text already come with extrude comes on 3D so it's much easier this way now let's place our text let's change our view to our top view and let's change this text to the middle of the two cloners all right and now select your motex objects you can see that we have now a motex object and let's change this text to sound and now let's change our font I'm going to choose this one called rounded line one seven now we c you can change the size of course this is way too big so let's change this to maybe 70 or could be higher 100 it's too much 80 I think 80 is cool All right. So, you can press the control and R to see how it looks. Of course, it doesn't have any color or any materials or anything, but that will be come coming later. So, we have our cloners and now it's time to make these cloners dance to the beat of our music. So, let's go to the next lesson.